celebrate i feel trapped in the best way i'm still really happy i feel like i've said this a million times in the last week but i feel like i'm back to my old self but i am going crazy in this room i've literally been in this room i leave the room once a day i go Every once in a while there's like a twinge of pain and I can feel every single stitch and it is so painful. I don't care that it's too much information. It hurts so bad and you need to know this. Girls, you need to know this in case it happens to you. Boys, you need to know this so you can understand how awesome women are that we go through this so that you can be alive. You're alive because your mom did this and either she got you cut out and she dealt with those stitches, or she pushed you out, and things tore, and she had to deal with those stitches, or she's Wonder Woman and magically didn't tear at all, and if that's the case, then I, I who does she, what? I've been sitting in this room for a week, and I'm going insane. I just want to go outside, and I want to breathe air that isn't circulated poo and pee air and barf air. I get to go downstairs once a day, and I thought I would be completely healed much faster than this. The doctor said it takes about six weeks. Two weeks before I'm like feeling a lot better and the stitches dissolve and everything, but like six weeks before I'm like a person. But girl, I'm having a hard time. Also, my little cute bugaboo, he, um, little Flynn is going through a growth spurt right now, which I didn't know about. I'm a first time parent, so I didn't know, I don't know how this works. But basically babies go through growth spurts every once in a while and they're very fussy and they eat more, they cry more, they're just uncomfortable. And so he's going through that. So he's been a really good, quiet, sleepy baby and then last night started this whole growth spurt thing where he was like i'm not gonna sleep i'm just gonna kind of fuss and cry and eat a lot more often so it's supposed to only last like a day or two but it's been a rough little day it's okay because he's really freaking cute i love it all that i pity you do on I know, <laughs> the baby peed on Eric and he didn't even feel it. <laughs> like he was laying that's on Eric right and I, <laughs> that's where you're at, that's how tired you are. Mm -hmm. um, I picked the baby up off of Eric and he'd been like cuddling and there's a huge wet spot. He's like, is that sweat? And I was like, love, that's definitely <laughs> pee. <laughs> but he pees on me all the time because when I breastfeed him, he's like, oh, I've got to make room. And he just like pees and it comes out his diaper. It's all cool, it just all happens. Yeah, all just of all of it. We've been pooped on, peed on, barfed on multiple times a day. It's fine. He's so cute. I'm going to keep knitting a scarf because I'm going insane. Hello everyone, it's the next day. I'm going to combine yesterday's vlog with today because I didn't really film much yesterday. It was a rough day with little Flynn. I think he wasn't feeling good. It made me so sad because all you want to do when you're a parent is like make sure your kid is happy and if there's ever even one second where you can't do that. It's like really hard. So yesterday we just focused on getting Flynn happy. Now he's good. Today the plan is to go downstairs. Yes, I know that sounds minuscule. You have to celebrate the small victories. And today, if we can make it downstairs, that will be a victory. We have been stuck in this room. Flynn and I have been just stuck in this room for over a week now and we're going insane. And so we're gonna try to get him down there and kind of just park our butts on the couch and maybe do some Christmas wrapping and maybe cook. Um, I don't know, just, I wanna be downstairs. I wanna be around the pets. I want him to get used to another smell, another room. That's the goal today. We'll see if we get there. But I kinda did my makeup today quickly in the dark and my hair's still sort of done from yesterday so I'm already winning, mom life. Much, much later and I'm downstairs, hooray! I've spent the whole day downstairs. We are going to make an ornament of Flynn's handprint right now so we got this little kit well Corey got it which is amazing and we're gonna try to put his little handprint on this thing we'll see how it goes he's very active with his hands he's always like so I don't know how this is gonna go um, but we're gonna try it so I'll show it to you when we're done okay well that was a fail <laughs> he moves his hands around too much and he didn't like it and so we just gave up I tried once and I was like if he doesn't like it I'm not gonna force him to do it so this is what we have. I think it's cute. It kind of looks like the handprint on the blood handprint on Wilson and Castaway. Yeah. So this is Wilson, the Christmas wolf, and it's like not even centered, like it's like on the bottom underneath. <laughs> 
like, and like my hand, my fingerprints from like frantically trying to get him to do it. So I'm definitely still putting this on the tree, uh, but that's what it looks like. So fail. We also gave him a bath, which he was not a big fan of, but that's okay. You write like plans for Christmas. Okay, yeah, we'll write on it. I'm going to wrap Christmas presents now. Fun. Look at him. His hair is so cute. You got cuckoo hair. You came out with style. It looks so insane right now. It's a look, bro. You came out with a look. My dirty feet were like no. in the shot like that though. <laughs> oh, that's weird, love it. <sighs> I'm sleepy. We washed the sheets finally um, after a lot of poo and pee and barf got all over it. Cause that's my life now, poo, pee and barf. Now I'm putting the pillowcases back on the pillows. My baby's freaking cute. And yeah, we had a good day downstairs. Not much happened. I feel like boring vlogging the same thing every day. It's just basically me breastfeeding and me talking about how happy I am to have a baby. <laughs> basically every single day. Oh, but you know one thing I did want to do? I wanted to show you guys what a postpartum body looks like. Okay, so a lot of people are like, oh, once you have a baby, does your stomach just go back how it was? No, it does definitely does not. So before I was pregnant, I was like itty bitty itty, like really tiny, probably underweight. And um, then I got pregnant and I gained a lot of weight. I had to gain a lot of weight to feed him, to keep him nourished. And I gained more weight than most people do. In the end, I don't even know how much I ended up weighing because I stopped looking at the scale because I was having like really bad like insecurity issues with all of that. Um, so my stomach in a week has shrunk. So I'm gonna show you before, like this was before, or this is the last day that I was pregnant. And then now, this is me now, so I have like a little pooch still, a little tiny bit. This is what I look like now, so it's like all this extra skin. Ooh, and my belly button's going back inside of me slowly but surely. Um, it's kind of like an outie belly button, it's so weird, I've always had an innie. And this line on my stomach will eventually go away, it just takes a long time. Okay, so also, like, okay, me sucking in, like, not sucking in but flexing. <laughs> and me, like, normal, like, relaxed. That's what I look like. So before I was pregnant, and then pregnant, and then me now. So some girls can lose it all just by breastfeeding. Some girls work out really, really, really hard. And some girls gain weight. I don't know what my body's gonna do. I know that it's weird to see my body go through so many changes. Yeah, I, I know it's kind of weird for me to show you a body that's like, not really perfect and kind of a hot mess, but I think it's important to show that because I feel like there's a lot of pressure on women after they give birth to get right back to their birth weight and like diet and exercise and all this stuff, or pre-birth weight, I mean. I don't think that's fair. Like your body goes through something so traumatic for nine months and then something really traumatic when you give birth, like it's so intense and so painful and so hard and then you're in pain. And the fact that like there's so much pressure on women to like, get back to looking exactly how you were before, I don't think is fair. And I also wanted to show people that like, you don't go back to looking how you were before. I feel really lucky that I even look like this now. Like there's some girls who 
have that big tummy and have the extra skin and stretch marks and all this stuff for a really, really long time. And the fact that my stomach's already gone down this much, I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. Um, I did look like seven-ish months pregnant the day after I gave birth. And then each day that went by, it got smaller and smaller. And now it's kind of chilling at this where I'm at now. So I don't know how much smaller it's gonna get on its own. Every day I have contractions to kind of push all my organs back down where they were. My abs have to come back to the middle. My intestines and my stomach have to come back down. But that's what my body looks like. It's not perfect, but it made a baby. So like, I know it's not my skinny little six pack body it was before, but this body made a baby, so it's way cooler <laughs> than my little tiny, teeny six-pack body. Um, we'll see what happens. I will keep you guys updated. I think it's important to be honest and show you guys me unfiltered, not picking like the perfect photo that was best angles and showing you all my, you know, my favorite parts of myself, like on my Instagram, but showing you like what I actually look like and what I'm actually going through, like bags, huge bags under my eyes and like makeup all rubbed off and my stretchy skin to me um because i made a baby and that's really cool and so the fact that women get stretch marks and extra skin and you know all that stuff is like cool it's like a badge of honor it's like look my i have these scars and i have these this skin and i have this extra stuff to show that i made a baby with my body and that's cool so i think that's kind of how we need to look at it now and not like encourage girls yes it's important to stay healthy and stay in shape but like to put pressure on women who've just gone through something so freaking hard and traumatic and to put pressure on women to like lose weight is ludicrous i think so i think it's important for more women to be like this is my body after I gave birth and that's awesome because I made a baby. Leave all the hate comments you want about how gross my body is. I don't care because I'm proud of myself and um, I'm proud of my body for what it did. Not for what it looks like, but for what it was able to produce and what it was able, able to make. Anyway, I'm gonna put pillowcases on these pillows. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.